Hey guys, thanks for uh, stopping in and checking out my channel here today. Uh, I was at work out in the uh, garage and uh, thought uh, while I was working on this new Ram, I'd give you guys a, a little tip or trick that might benefit you guys if you guys are a Ram owner and you have the 8-speed. Um, basically, I was going to show you guys that you know if you're ever in a situation where you know the truck needs towed or you need to get it in neutral or something along those lines, to maybe shove it off the road um but uh i kind of want to show you guys how to actually put them in neutral because uh well let's just show you here um, so we'll start this truck up and you got the rotary dial so you, know, you put it in neutral it's in neutral all right and you open up the door as soon as you let off the brake with the door open it shifts to park and it sets the emergency brake for you so there's no way that you can open the door and get out of this thing and leave it in neutral but now let me show you here well let's turn it back on we'll release the parking brake so the parking brakes released we'll turn it off um, so now if you wanted to actually put the truck in neutral there is a little access panel right down here. Um, and like I say, you need a little screwdriver or something, but you know, if you're along the side of the road, you might not have a little screwdriver. So one of the things I like to use that you know you probably will have with you is your key. Um, you slide the key out. There we go. So if you have the key, you can just put the key right in there and pop that out. Now, once you've got that out, there's a little tether right here. And all you have to do is pull that out. Now the truck's in neutral. You can roll it around, you know, push it off the road or, you know, have a tow truck come get it. And then to put it back in, you just oh, pull it. There you go. And then, I'd say that little tether will go right back up in there. And you can shut it. Now it's back in park. So, so like I said, figured that might be a little helpful. Uh, I end up using it quite a bit here at the shop whenever we got to do alignments. Uh, you got to do roll compensation and stuff. So, you can't put the truck in neutral and roll it on the alignment rack. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, trying to drive it on the rack. It's really hard to get those small little movements and I feel like you chase, you know, the alignment machine wants you to stop a certain spot and it's just kind of inconvenient. So I end up using that a lot to do alignments and stuff. But like I said, if you're ever in an emergency situation, it's kind of helpful to know where that is. Uh, it might benefit you one day. And uh, like I said, I just figured I would share that with you guys, and uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in and checking out the channel, and uh, like I said, do me a favor, guys, and smash that like button, and uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe and stuff, too, and I hope you guys all have a good day, so we'll catch you in the next video.